comma splice. A comma splice is when two independent clauses are joined with a comma and no conjunction. An independent clause makes sense on its own. This type of clause contains a subject and a verb. For example, I was thirsty, I drank some water. Here we have two independent clauses. Each clause contains a subject and a verb. Therefore, it is incorrect to use a comma. There are four ways in which you can correct a comma splice. The first is to make two separate sentences. I was thirsty, I drank some water. The full stop indicates the end of the sentence. The next way is to add a conjunction. A conjunction is used to join independent clauses. Examples of conjunctions include for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. For example, I was thirsty, so I drank some water. The comma is placed just before the conjunction. The next way is to use a semicolon instead of a comma because semicolons can be used to join two independent sentences that are related, like this. I was thirsty, I drank some water. The last way to correct a comma splice is to make one of the clauses dependent. So we'll have an independent clause followed by a dependent clause. Remember that an independent clause makes sense on its own and a dependent clause doesn't. The clauses are joined by a subordinating conjunction. For example, I was thirsty before I drank some water. There are many different types of subordinating conjunctions, for example, after, before, because, even though, since, etc.